Hey guys, my tip for you today has to do with separation anxiety. And I'm going to title this Love Hurts. I also made a list. A long list of all the things that lead to separation anxiety. I'm going to start with the first one. Comforting nervous, stressed, and insecure behavior. There's a saying, what you pet is what you get. If your dog is nervous and stressed, and you're petting them as if to soothe them, you're actually reinforcing that behavior and you will only continue to get, you will only continue to get that insecure, nervous, and stressed behavior. Number two, depending on your dog to fill an emotional void in your life. That's like if you live alone and so you invite your dog to sleep in your bed with you every single night or cuddle on the couch with you every single night. I use like getting into the bed or getting up onto the couch with me as a reward and that's dependent upon a dog's behavior throughout the day. Third thing, affection. That would include cuddling and constant petting. I'm gonna combine that with the fourth thing on my list, allowing your dog to follow you everywhere. That includes the bathroom, the couch, the bed, the kitchen, everywhere. So if your dog follows you everywhere, then you're most likely touching your dog. It's like they crave to be near you because when they're near you, they're given something. They're given scraps from the kitchen counter. They're given petting, pets petting when they're with you on the couch or how about the dogs that follow you to the bathroom and sit like right in front of you while you're on the toilet <laughs> and then what do you do when you're there with them do you just stare at them do you pet them like you're rewarding them for following you to the bathroom so they're constantly comforted and rewarded when they're near you but then when you put them in a crate and leave the house for eight hours they struggle with you being away from them. And it makes it hard for them to be away because now they're no longer comforted. The next thing on my list is lack of structure. So that's just based on in a day, a dog potentially is not asked to do anything, but then rewarded breakfast and dinner and rewarded cuddling on the couch and rewarded with constant petting so we need more structure in our day. The structure and the discipline and the expectations need to balance with the affection that we offer our dogs. And the last thing I wrote on my list was excited and emotional arrivals and departures, which can be really tough for humans. Humans almost desire for dogs to miss us. Like when we get home and we go, oh my goodness, I missed you so much, I love you. Then a dog gets really excited and then they realize like, wow, this is great and I didn't have this when you weren't here. Or when you leave the house and you go, I'll be right back, stay here and be a good boy, I'll see you soon. A dog knows that something new is about to happen, something different is going to occur. And it's hard for them, it's hard for them to adjust. All right, hopefully that helps give you a little bit of insight on why separation anxiety exists. And if you're struggling with separation anxiety, hopefully you can make a couple tweaks or a couple changes in your interactions between yourself and your dog uh, in order to improve. Thanks for watching. Have an incredible day. Bye.